What's going on everybody? Motown EDC here. Uh, this is my first YouTube video. Not really sure how to do this, but for my first video, I'm just gonna do a work carry EDC pocket dump. Oh, Michael Richter. He got me convinced to start up a YouTube channel, so here we are. Uh, first off, I'm gonna start with my wallet. I've got a uh, rugged Texas wallet. So they make some handmade leather goods, really good quality, nice thick leather. This is it right here. I'm just a big fan of the long wallet. It's just easy to grab and go on with it. But that's my wallet. And here is a beautiful Richter knives pocket slip. It's got all the the tooling on there. Every slip I have from him actually has that tooling on it. It's probably my favorite. I told him to try and figure out a name for it, but he's even got my initials down there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see the H right there. Uh, there's the B. I really like that. And he made that one for my GEC 71 orange Delrin. Got the teeners on there. Still trying to find out what I get the best patina with on these carbon steel knives, like the 71, or all GEC, or most GECs. I guess they do make some stainless steel knives here and there, but I found uh, strawberries give a really good patina on these. And Erica over at Erica's EDC, we were talking about that earlier, and she said that she gets good patina from kiwis, but anytime I want to get a good patina on a knife, I always just go to the store, get some strawberries and cut them up and have them for lunch or just a snack here and there. You know, sometimes I get hungry. Uh, my main carry or my main pocket knife that I use at work today, at least I've got a Benchmade CLA. I think this one's honestly pretty underrated. I got it on a whim, on a trade. I was feeling generous and traded a GEC for it. Just because I know the person I traded it to would <coughs> enjoy that GEC better than I would. I think it was an 86. But I actually really like this one. It's nice and sharp. I don't know if it's focused or not. I can't really tell, but it's a good one. I don't really like automatic knives that much, but I got this one and the handle is very comfortable for me at least. My finger just falls right into that right there and I feel really secure holding it. But blazes through some cardboard. I don't really use my main carry for uh, like food processing or anything. Most of that I do with my traditional knives or the ones I keep in slips like this because I don't know, that's just me. I like it and I do it. That's what I do. But if you couldn't tell from my Instagram, I've been really on a orange kick and traditional knives thanks to Erica CDC and Michael Richter, old Richter knives. <coughs> Sorry, but I really like this orange one. It's probably one of my favorites. Those are my knives. I always usually always carry two. Um, my pen today. I usually don't carry a pen unless I'm at work, but they don't make these anymore. It's a Urban Survivor, Urban Survival Gear tie scribe in titanium. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's the only one I got. So. And I don't really feel like forking out the money for another one. I don't really like it. It's a bolt action pin, nice and slim. Oh, it gets the job done, but it is what it is. And I usually always carry a handkerchief. This one is from 
Virago EDC over on Instagram. They have an Etsy shop too, I think, but I always usually carry one of these handkerchiefs. I've got a few of them because whenever I first started my Instagram, they were one of the first friends I made. <coughs> and they were always really good to me and letting me see and get first pick on a bunch of their handkerchiefs and everything. But really cool people over there, go check them out. I'm not sure if they're still doing handkerchief work or anything like that, but if they are, go give them a look. They do have a really cool Instagram page too. But that's my pocket dump and my first YouTube video. Just ate lunch. It's pretty good, made some chicken and rice. I even cut the chicken with this knife last night. Meal prepping for the week. But look at these painters on here. Can't, I don't know if the lighting's good enough to get it, but. Beautiful. I really do like this knife. I love a good sod buster style knife. And personally, I think the 71 is about the perfect size it's a little bit bigger than the case sod buster junior fits really good in the hand i mean like i said i do with my traditional knives i i'll do mostly food prep and just cutting up apples uh strawberries fruits vegetables meats whatever i feel like cutting at the time sometimes i'll use them for like actual work not that cooking is not actual work, but you know what I mean. I'm not trying to offend anybody here, but like cutting stuff harder than most foods that you would cut. <clears throat> but as you can probably tell, I'm, I use my stuff. You can't really see it very well on here, but it's got some good use on it. Got a little of the coating rubbing off right there. I do use my stuff and I'm a big advocate for using your stuff just because I don't understand why you would buy something and not use it. I mean, I do understand a safe queen, something to pass down, but other than that, just to use it. It's good. Good for the soul, especially when you know how to sharpen your knives. But <coughs> everybody, that's my first video go check out some of this cool gear go check out michael richter these beautiful slips go check out rugged tx over on instagram for some cool wallets i do a bunch of other stuff too like belts and hats and toboggans or some people call them beanies uh virago edc that's another one with the hanks i don't know where i just put it there it is They're always, all of them are really cool people, but that's my first video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Goodbye.